Hey everyone, it's Kevin and Kim uh, here to give an update and some details from our Facebook announcement that you probably saw online. So adoption number two is in the works and we are set to hopefully have baby number two in June of 2021. Which is this current year now. Yes, coming soon. So uh, let's start with where this is coming from. Uh, Eden's birth mother is pregnant and so this is literally round two as the announcement said. We're working with the same social worker, same birth mom, uh, so because it is a blood sibling for Eden this is going to be awesome for her. Uh, we are very excited because in the adoption world uh, having blood siblings is phenomenal. So this is going to be fantastic for her. It's a baby girl. It is going to be a baby girl. Kevin's outnumbered. I'm going to be very outnumbered and pray for me. Please. All right. Uh, we might have some questions coming from people in the next couple of weeks, primarily about um, birth mom, uh, birth dad. Um, we're probably not going to engage those conversations too much, both to protect Eden, uh, the new baby, uh, Ashley, um, we probably won't get to meet the birth father um, this time, so let's just try to keep it. Uh... We just don't have a lot of information, so yeah, that's what we're going with. In adoption, you don't always get a lot of information. Thankfully, we have a great relationship with Ashley, mm -hmm. and she's the birth mother, and we talk a lot um, on Facebook Messenger and... Yep. She's really sweet. She's very excited for us. Of course, this is going to be hard for her, just like it was with Eden. So not only are we praying for the baby's safety and Ashley's safety for these next six months, but also for her emotionally as parting with a child is really, really hard. And we saw that firsthand with Eden. Mm -hmm. So... We're in a much more comfortable relationship with Ashley and she with us because we were strangers when we met in February of last year, but now we've had a lot of communication over the last 10 months and we have a great partnership and we, we think, I think she's the best birth mom yep. on the planet and especially for us, we've been able to get along really well and share pictures of Eden and she loves it and she makes us laugh and so it's been a crazy journey this far but we're excited to um, do it again yep so and again with adoption there's no absolute guarantees we have to put that out there but uh, until everything is signed uh, in June but we are still excited we're moving forward planning ahead we actually get to plan this time we have six months to do it instead of three weeks um, but we're gonna uh, have hope and optimism that things will work out and uh, we can all work together for the best for all of us. So Eden is actually still not legally adopted by us. She's legally placed with us, mm -hmm. but we don't have a birth certificate or social security yet. But yes. in a couple weeks, hopefully, or a month, um, we will be going to court through Zoom, of course. There's this thing called a virus going around. So uh, hopefully we'll get her birth certificate, her SSN uh, sent to us, and we will have legally adopted Eden up to a year later. Maybe before her birthday, yeah. February. But no worry, she is um, placed with us. Um, she is with us for the long haul. Um, we're never worried about that. But so the two will be about 16 months apart, and that is perfect for them to grow and survive and yeah flourish. and share everything so thank you to everyone who donated to us last time especially all the clothes and the bibs and bottles and yep. target gift cards and the pack and play everything because we are going to be using a lot of that again um, especially the clothes since she's a girl I have a lot of clothes that people have given me thank you so much it makes yep. the job on us a lot easier because we can just reuse a lot of what we have before. And shout out to South Lake Pregnancy and Family Care Center here in Claremont. They have been amazing, especially during COVID. 
I go there every week and get diapers and counseling, which is always important for new mothers to have someone to talk to and get advice and um, get diapers and wipes and just for someone to love on their child in the midst of a pandemic when we can't really go a lot of places. We do get out a lot and we take about a million walks. But with that being said, South Lake um, Pregnancy Center is also going to be immensely helpful moving forward because I'm going to be taking care of another newborn and that's always a handful. So we're thankful for them. All right. So at this point, um, if you can just pray for Ashley and the baby for their safety protection, pray for us as we prepare. Um, that's all the support we could use right now. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out um, and we'd love to share more. But um, thank you so much for what you've done so far in our family journey and we will keep you updated. Love you guys. Patents out. Six minutes. <laughs>